Okay, so now we are on to our last topic in probability, and that is kind of counting, factorials, arranging, choosing, and we'll say the box methods. These all sort of come under, I guess you could call it the broad term of counting. Um, there's kind of five yeah, different methods we have to look at, but they all come under the same broad category. So in this first video, we're just going to have a look at the fundamental principle of counting, which is quite handy, and then they'll get kind of progressively harder as we go along. So we will start with, I guess, what you would call the fundamental principle of counting. So here I have it scribbled out here, the fundamental principle of counting, and it states that if one event has m possible outcomes and a second event has n possible outcomes, where m and n both they would stand for different numbers, then the total number of possible outcomes is m times n. So um, yeah, that sounds way more confusing than it is. We'll just look at a quick example uh, and you'll see how simple it can be. So I'll just say here, if we're talking about plain English, um, just makes it a little bit easier. So for example, if there are three places, A, B, and C, and there are, we'll say two ways, two roads to get from A to B, and then there are three roads to get from, sorry, two roads to get from A to B, and then three roads to get from B to C, then the entire number of ways you can get from A to C so I'll say AC um, is two times three, which is equal to six different ways, okay? So if you go the first road, then either first, second, third, or the second road, then first, second, third. And that's basically what the M times N means because there's two here and three here. The total number of ways is two times three. So that's, we'll call that just example one. If we wanna go example two, so if we have a menu um, and we'll say, starters there are four of them we'll say mains so main courses there are five different main courses and then desserts no that's not how you spell desserts desserts is stressed backwards desserts uh, and say there's four desserts as well so if you want to find out the possible different combinations of meals you can have so between all the different starters the mains and the desserts then it's simply four times five times four, which is equal to 80 different um, combinations of meals. So 80 different meals you can have. And that's, yeah, that's basically all there is to the fundamental principle of counting. So it's simple enough. And um, that's all for the first video. The next video, we're gonna start looking at factorials, which get a little bit more complicated. So yeah, hopefully that makes sense. Uh, don't forget to like and share, uh, and we'll see you next time.